Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. I'm Margo. And I'm Miller. You can find us everywhere where you would find like a normal podcast. A iTunes. Normal podcast. Yeah. <laughs> they have normal ones and sexy they ones. Do. They have them all. This is in the sexy iTunes department. You yeah. can find us anywhere. Just search Nerds Who Swing, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. You can find us. Twitter everywhere? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're all the places. We are everywhere you want us to be. And you, well, I mean. <laughs> or we could be. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Email us at nerdswhoswing at gmail.com. Yeah. yeah. Email questions. Yeah. Comments. Send in pictures and you can be on our logo. That's right. Every episode we have a contest where you could be in the Nerds Who Swing logo. Go to our Instagram page and you can find all of the past winners yeah. of every episode. They're not all me or no, you. You there are, are in some and I'm in some, but yeah. that was like the first couple episodes. Yeah. Now we have all of our sex- sexy listeners. It's so awesome. Giving us their pictures. It's, it's really, really good. Yeah. Now and then they're too sexy, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I sometimes like to put the words over the titties just so you don't see the nipples, but <laughs> yeah. that's okay. <laughs> Keep sending in those nipples, ladies. Send us your nipples. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing podcast. Thanks for listening. No, why don't you like it? It's just not. It's just the flavor. It's not the flavor. Um. So sad. I know. What a day. You should go back day. to bed. I'm going. Okay. Bye. <laughs> now it's just Margot who swings. Play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Yeah. I'm I'm taking it, it over. Yeah. You should do a whole episode of just you talking. To myself? Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to. You that. could do two-sided where there could be two like Margos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really Margot. Totally Margot. Back yeah. and forth. Yeah. It's like oh. evil Margot and like good Margot. That's, I don't think anyone would tune in for that. <laughs> it's too much Margot. All right, um, so there's a cool article I saw the other day. Is there? Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> so it says, the headline was, Silicon Valley star Thomas Middletich reveals he and his wife are swingers. Whoa. I know, right? Pew. I've I've read other things where, like, other celebrities have, like, um, where, like, where they thought certain celebrities were swingers. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that but that's then it's stupid, just, like, gossipy, yeah. like... Mag- trashy magazines and stuff yeah. that they're just like it's these guys it's the, it's the same thing as like she's pregnant or yeah. she whatever yeah, they exactly. just kind of like take a shot in the dark and yeah. whatever but he this is him saying it yeah okay so I'll, I'll read um, a bit of the article and then we can talk about it if you want okay you, you're, you're allowed to inter- interrupt me on the on your reading on my journey through this article okay. if you want okay get so, comfy so, is it long yeah. no it's like <laughs> I'll, I shortened it I made okay. it shorter so that it was yeah <laughs> Okay, so Silicon Valley star Thomas Middleditch, is that how you say his name? Middle, Middle Ditch, Middle I think. Ditch, yeah. Has an interesting tidbit to share in a new interview with Playboy, revealing he oh, and his okay. wife are swingers. Um, only after I married, oh sorry, only after I got married, I was like, Molly, I'm sorry, but we have to get non-traditional here. He credited, he, or to her credit, instead of saying, fuck you, I'm out, she was like, let's figure this out. To be honest, swinging has saved our marriage, says the 37-year-old native of Nielsen, B.C. He's from really? Canada. Yeah. Woo! Um, we have different speeds, and we argue over it constantly, but it's better than feeling unheard and alone, and that you have to scurry in the shadows, he, says, he adds. Explaining that the term swinger is passé, by the way. It's now called being part of the lifestyle. Huh? The term huh? swinging is old. Um, asked if ever envisioned, sorry, asked if he ever envisioned himself and his wife becoming part of the lifestyle, he declared, absolutely not. He says he and his wife created their own rules, and compared to most people they've met, this is kind of, it's kind of our shit, our rules are strict. We're not, uh, sorry, we're we're not off our own, we're not off on our own, we're in it together, a unit. My first concern is Molly. Uh, anything that happens has to run by my queen. Hmm. Yeah. That's the article. Wow. Yeah. That's ballsy. It is, yeah. It also makes sense that it was in Playboy, because I was like, who did he tell this to? Like, what's up, New York Times? <laughs> yeah. Just want to let you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, who asked him this question? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah. 
Well, yeah, that's my first impression is that's pretty ballsy because he just it puts is. it out there in the universe like, hey, mom, dad, like yeah. critics, whatever. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he must have felt comfortable enough to bring it up. It's crazy. Yeah. Makes you wonder if there's like more um, kind of celebrities that do it that don't um, kind of aren't brave enough to mention it in uh, yeah. interviews. Yeah. I mean, just just being in the lifestyle, you realize how many other people are. Yeah. Like. Hey, like I'm always surprised when we go to events. It's like there's so, so many, many people, people here. Or like, oh, we were talking about one person that I used to work with, but there was actually three people that I used to work with. Right. And and well, maybe that's like kind of a, a yeah. weirdly high percentage, <laughs> yeah. but. But that means that probably yeah. in other places, you know, there is someone in your office that also is in the lifestyle right. too or something because yeah. it's it's a lot more widespread than people realize. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And it, I bet it, you there's even a bigger spread. Like, there's even more people who are, like, on the cusp who, mm -hmm. like, just need that little extra push. Probably. You know, and then they would be a part of it. Like, Or they're interested, yeah. but they... Aren't brave enough to, aren't like... Aren't brave enough. Or maybe they don't have a partner. They don't want to do it alone. Yeah. Or their partner isn't into it. Or they, they don't right. want to bring it up to their partner. All that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think all the judgment, all, a big chunk of it is, is perceived judgment. Whereas, like, not actual yeah. judgment. You know, yeah. you're worried that you're going to be judged. And, uh, and I mean, you will be by some people, but right. probably not as many as you would expect. Yeah, that's true. But um, still brave, super brave. Yeah. I don't know. The celebrity thing is different because I'm sure that they, like, fuck all kinds of people all the time. But everybody's, like, signing NDAs and stuff. Right. I'm sure, right? Probably. Like, you don't get into their house, let alone their bedroom, without yeah. signing something. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. So I, I went just what you said about probably a lot of celebrities do it. Yeah. Maybe, but... You'd uh, yeah, never you'll know. never hear. You'd I'm, never know. Yeah, yeah. It, in a way, I'm surprised that, that there are any that are like honest about it mm -hmm. because I feel like it would hurt either their image potentially or yeah, you know, like their like ability, film roles or yeah, whatever. Yeah, ability to get roles. Like, yeah, because all the celebrities seem like you know somewhat squeaky clean. <laughs> Often, you know, yeah. because you d yeah. they don't. Um, the ones that aren't squeaky clean, yep. they only get around it by being like, oh, but that was in the past. Like, like everybody loves Robert Downey Jr. now. Right. Because all his shit is in the past. And right, that like was he, like a reformed, yeah, now like, they like him. addict yeah, and right. whatnot, right? And yeah. so now, but there was a time where people were like, ugh, that guy, right? Yeah. Because he was like a bad guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And so... It's almost like people only like you if you used to be bad. If, if he was saying, I used to be a swinger. Yeah. Yeah. In 10 years ago. That's true. Then suddenly it's like, well, yeah, that's so that's fine. Because even yeah. the people who dislike it can be like, oh, you made a mistake or whatever they want to call yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. But, but like if now, you're owning it like right today, now. I'm yeah. doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's ballsy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, yeah. To own it now is pretty, yeah. like, pretty brave and awesome. Yeah. Um, I wonder if he felt comfortable saying that, knowing that there is like a that there are enough people like that he works with that are also like oh, similar. Oh, interesting. That, you know, like, Maybe this won't really like have any kind of blowback on me because mm -hmm. I know like whatever like twenty other swingers because I went to the last Hollywood swinger party. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you know, and that's like a big ticket event. You know, all of them are party. like, yeah, like yeah. it's cool. Like, yeah, that's true. Just don't out us, but you can out yourself. That's true. I also, I mean, I think it's brave um, to be at the forefront of something. Yeah, um, that's true. To come out, I don't mean come out in yeah. that way, but sure. Um, and it normalizes it in a way because yeah. there's a definite possibility that today saying you're a swinger, you're yeah. in the lifestyle, whatever word you want to use, is like, whoa, what? And that's why people don't tell their vanilla friends and they don't tell their families and all that. But who knows down the line yeah if more people that's more, true like it's like more the, air quote yeah. normal people yeah. like this silicon yeah. valley guy or whatever like if you know or yeah. you're the the guy you work with whatever if more people are open about it then suddenly it's not this weird thing or yeah. this like deviant thing it's just a thing some people do and yeah, then it's yeah. like oh yeah i am oh i'm not no biggie whatever yeah. like, maybe there will be a time and i don't know how many years right. <laughs> where that's just a thing some people talk about the way some people have other hobbies i don't know yeah well i mean like because right now it's like it's brave to come out as gay brave to come out as any of those things mm -hmm. you know 
but like to come out as a swinger, it's not, it's not brave. You know, like, no, it's, it's not seen as brave. Like people are just like. Well, I think he's brave, but that's I do too. But that's in the last time. Yeah, in the, if like, we weren't, yeah, it's like it's not. It's, it's not seen met with the same thing. Like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, but like, why is that any different from anything else? Right. It is right now, it, but maybe yeah, it won't be. But maybe eventually. then they'll look back on like. Remember that middle middle ditch yeah, guy? He yeah. came out. He was so brave. The OG swinger. Yeah, he's like the original. He started the, he started the lifestyle. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah. I read something after where it said something about he was gonna work on some kind of lifestyle movie project or something like oh, that. Oh, so interesting. It's possible that there might be a movie or TV show or something. Yeah, I mean, I you can tell ho- Hollywood when they sort of. They're trying to push the envelope with mm-hmm. like you know same sex relationships, say or 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 having tr- like trans people yeah. or something like that. What regardless of whether they, that's what the story right. is about or not, but just maybe that's yeah. uh, that's just the actor or actress that they hire to play, right. whatever. Um, that's cool and mm-hmm. that's happening slowly more and more. Right. But I, the lifestyle thing is still like I mean like there's like eyes wide shut. Right. Is, and and that's not looked at as like what a great portrayal yeah. of the lifestyle, like, <laughs> yeah. right? And I mean, then otherwise it's like porn. I mean, there's not yeah. really like where where it's a, a normal, air quotes normal. Don't yeah. take that offense as normal, but no. a regular vanilla whatever word yeah. you want to use. Couple get up and go to work and pack lunches for their kids and right. all this normal stuff. But now and then yeah. on a Saturday night they go to a lifestyle club and everything else in their life is exactly like. Everybody else's right. non-lifestylers' lives, too. Yep. They have Sunday dinner with the grandparents or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's just their sex life. Occasionally, it's a little more saucy. Yeah, they, <laughs> that, that, that's it. That's the difference. Yeah. That's yeah. all it is. But I don't think it's seen as that. And it would be cool if there were more movies yeah. and TV shows where that doesn't have to be the focus. It doesn't have to be like yeah. the lifestyle movie. But just the main character also... Yeah happens to be you know that yeah. would be cool yes i that's, agree that's very <laughs> cool they should do that more often yeah yeah why not yeah yeah was cool. there any online reaction like he's sick it's gross i don't know was there you know, any I, backlash? I didn't really dig into it very far well, most I of what think. i saw from where i read it was like this is awesome right one person was like this means i have a chance <laughs> <laughs> that's cute yeah <laughs> uh, that's cute yeah i do i, I yeah I like that how he like said it too. Yeah, I agree. That there are rules and every couple is different and, and yeah. they are as a unit and, and that's how they operate. Yeah. And that that's how we operate right. as well. So maybe it's easy for us to feel like, yeah. like that's a yeah. good choice because it seems like their choices are maybe similar to right. ours. Yeah. But he didn't seem to say it in such a way where he's not um, he's not saying the way anybody else does it is, is bad. Right. But that's just what they do. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. There you go. I wonder if there'll be a follow-up interview. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're... <laughs> explain more. Yeah. Talk slowly. If you want to come on our podcast to explain, <laughs> uh, Mr. Milditch, uh, you're welcome to join us. Yeah. <laughs> we have a chance. That's right. There's a chance. Okay. But here's what I thought about the whole article. Oh, Here's oh what popped in my head right oh, no. away. Okay. So there's a scene at the end of the first season of... Um, Silicon Valley? Silicon Valley that he's like the kind of the star of, where they're at a conference... And they're trying with to buy the, time. With the whiteboard? With the whiteboard, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're trying so to buy time funny. about how, like, they make a joke about how, do you think we can jerk off everybody here oh, to, like, gosh, buy time? Right. And they come up with this long, like, formula and explanation. How many, about how many, how many dicks many, can you jerk off at yeah, one time? How long would it take? Two in one hand if you put them together. Yeah, the dick, so you can just go from tip one to, to the dick, other. Ratio, yeah, tip to yeah. Tip, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you have, to, you have to make that work. Right. It makes you know me, what? Pause this yeah. and go YouTube yeah. that scene and then because come it's back. way yeah. funnier than anything They did way we've better said. than us. Yeah. Go. <laughs> so yeah. good. Yeah. It's very funny. Oh, and now you're like. So now I'm like, did he have experience before <laughs> this, or has he had experience after this? Like, <laughs> he went home to the wife and was like, "This is what we talked about today." <laughs> yeah. Or does he go to things and he's like, "Oh fuck, are we doing this again?" Like, Maybe they walk yeah. in the room and they're yeah. like, "Tip to tip." Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. And he's just like. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah.
But then we we could also but just try a different one and just talk about the tall grass for like mm -hmm. 20 minutes.